its evolution reflecting the changes in modern warfare. The original version, the M1, came with a 105mm rifle gun borrowed from the M60 and basic Choberhan armor, with over 3,200 units produced by 1985. But soon followed the IPM-1, an interim improvement with minor suspension and electronics upgrades. Emerging in 1985 was the M1A1, a major leap forward, with a 120mm smoothbore gun licensed from Heine Metal Germany, capable of firing a PFSDS aerotype ammunition and a truly revolutionary innovation. Armor reinforced with depleted uranium, dramatically increasing density and strength. This version proved its worth in the 1991 Gulf War, with Abrams armor destroying hundreds of Iraqi armored vehicles like the T-72. In impressive detail, no Abrams was lost to direct fire from the T-72. Fast forward to the 1990s, and the M1A2 ushered in the digital age with a real-time data sharing system, independent thermal imaging for the commander, and more electronics to further increase fire accuracy, even at night and on the move. Variants like the M1A2 SECP from 2000 added advanced ballistic computers and mine protection. The CPV2, in the 2010s, included multifunction displays and command network improvements. <laughs>